this part of Massachusetts and into Connecticut. Um, I've actually hiked before. I did a five day solo training hike um, last August um, to try to prepare myself for this. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. You can't prepare for this. I'm just getting ready to leave the travel lodge in Great Barrington. Yesterday, Grant and me, I and I uh, narrowed in, doing six and a half miles or so. Uh, we just came in to resupply and get a hot shower and do our laundry. Um, we stayed the night and now we are just waiting for our shuttle to get back on trail. Um, good news though is uh, last night, we were reunited with Care Bear and Insight, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, my trail family is back together. They uh, jumped ahead up here to meet us. Um, they were three or four weeks behind um, due to his emergency surgery, um, and they had been moving along, going through the White Mountains. Um, but right now, it's really, really cold there, uh, and it's it, they, are, they are expecting snow. It's definitely kind of dangerous. Um, so uh, it wasn't really um, safe for them to be there, and um, they were uh, hiking pretty much all alone. So they made the decision to jump ahead. Um, they're sad about missing some of the miles, but they plan on going back and doing them. Um, and it would just be more enjoyable to have us all together again. So we are um, going back to the trail now. Um, I think we have 13 miles or something planned for today. So we'll see what the day brings. There's my friends. They just pulled up. They'll be joining us on the trail. Thank you. There's my friend. You guys ready for this? No, my pack is too heavy. What did I say? Stop complaining. Like Suck it up, Buttercup. It's going to be 80 degrees, and I'm carrying negative 15 degrees. It's going to be warm. You'll be toasty. This is the view from uh, Jug's Edge here in Massachusetts. And it's really pretty. I don't know if the camera can pick it up as well as I'm seeing it, but it's definitely beautiful. The trail came up from over there. And I am just sitting here on this nice little rocky outcrop here enjoying the view waiting for plant land miyagi uh, and insight and care bear i am just leaving laurel Ridge campsite where we camped last night. Uh, it's been kind of a 
lazy slow start to the morning. Um, this is the first morning in, I don't know, uh, four or five days that it's been actually warm out here. Uh, so it was enjoyable to have our coffee and breakfast this morning. So we took our time. The last few days have been super cold. So we've packed up and hit the trail early. Um, but anyway, today we are going over Bear Mountain. Um, and we will walk along Sage's Ravine. Um, this part of Massachusetts and into Connecticut, um, I've actually hiked before. I did a five day solo training hike um, last August um, to try to prepare myself for this. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. You can't prepare for this. Um, but anyway, uh, so I have hiked um, these miles before, um, though I hiked it in the other direction. So um, it is a little different when you go in the opposite direction. But anyway, we will be crossing the border into Connecticut today, so that's pretty exciting. There are only, I think, 42 point something, 43 miles in Connecticut. Um, so that should go fairly quick. Um, it is a good feeling to be able to, um, you know, get through some of these states quickly. Um, so it makes you feel like you're, you're making progress. Coming down here into um, Sage's Ravine, and I can hear the water flowing. Uh, Massachusetts has been really, really dry. Um, there's a drought this summer, and we have been having a really difficult time getting water through here, uh, having to carry a lot of water because there's not a lot of um, water sources. So to see this is really a welcome sight. It's flowing really nicely here. Beautiful. I guess the trail goes up there. To cross over after I get some water and head up that way. And right here, this is the Massachusetts Connecticut border. So, right after I cross the ravine there, I will be officially in Connecticut um, and done with Massachusetts. Though there isn't really a Connecticut Massachusetts uh, sign. So, yeah, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Okay, there is the sign right there. I had to cross the ravine, but there it is. It says, welcome to the Connecticut section of the Appalachian Trail. There's the border. top of Bear Mountain in Connecticut. And the plaque reads, this monument marks the highest ground in Connecticut. Uh, 2,000, I can't read it, 851 feet possibly above the sea, built in 1885, Owen Travis. So yeah, there's that. There's the trail over there. Coming up here on what's called the Giant Thumb, and it is that right there. Uh, this is on top of that Coon Hill, and that is referred to as the Giant Thumb. Kind of a cool rock shape, thumb shaped rock here on top of the hill. We are about 0.4 from our destination this evening where we are going to camp. Coming up here on what they call Rand's View. Look at this. This 
is camp tonight. All set up. I left camp about quarter to seven this morning. Last night we camped at uh, Rand's Field, um, which was beautiful. However, this morning when we woke up, it was all fogged in and misty. So I had to pack up a wet tent. Um, that's never fun. Hopefully the sun will come out and I can dry that out again today. Um, I'm waiting for Plant Lamb Yagi. I, got a, uh, I started down the trail. They were still packing up camp. We are heading into um, Village Falls, I think is the name of it, Connecticut here. And I just came down the trail and I'm gonna cross this road here and I can actually hear the falls. So I'm looking forward to seeing them. Um, and then in about 0.8 miles, they're supposed to, um, supposed to come out into town and there is supposed to be a, um, electric company with a uh, water spigot, which is my destination right now because um, it's been so dry here, we've had a hard time finding water. So we broke camp this morning. We said we'll walk the 3.3 to the water and then we will make breakfast. Um, so that is the plan. Um, right now it's kind of misty and overcast. I'm hoping it, it the sun comes out um, today, but we'll see. Um, it's not cold, so that's a plus. Um, I think we have about 13, no, it was 14.7 miles today um, to get to camp. And then um, tomorrow we have another long day and we should be um, in near Kent, Connecticut. I just came out here to the falls. Unfortunately, it's really hard to see them through the trees here with all the leaves on them. Uh, it's a big dam though. Maybe there'll be a better, better view down the trail. And that's a little bit better view, but still kind of hard to see. They're really pretty. Just came out here into Amesville and the trail goes over this little car bridge here over the Housatonic River yeah, beautiful so pretty the power here company here in Village Falls and there is the water spigot the coveted water spigot for today uh, apparently it's our only chance of getting water and we have a 14.7 mile day so we're filling up here we just had coffee and breakfast right here on the steps um, and getting ready to head back into the woods came out here to the road and this is the Housatonic Valley Regional High School. So pretty cool. Walks right along here. Little road walk. Looks like the sun's coming out. And this is the trail here and that's the Housatonic River. And the trail is walking right along the river here. It's a nice flat section for the next mile, I think, or so before we start climbing again. But this is really pretty. We have been hiking in and out of the forest. The trail goes out to the road and then back in again um, through this section here. So 
been very enjoyable. rock squeeze here where the trail goes through. Plant Lamb Miyagi coming through. Kind of kind of cool. And it goes trail goes down here. Some gigantic rocks. Yep. Okay, we are at Caesar Brook campsite tonight camping. And this is the privy. Talk about being one with nature first privy that has not had at least three walls around it. it has no walls but it works 